Two years ago and the country locked down, millions stayed at home. Fewer of us were travelling in cars or flying. That helped Scotland reduce its emissions in 2020 and reach its climate target. There can be no satisfaction taken in emission reductions resulting from such economic and social harm. We must also be prepared for emissions from trans the transport sector to substantially rebound in 2021. Overall emissions in 2020 were down 12% compared to the previous year and down by 58% on the baseline figures in 1990. The Scottish Government says it has a revised plan to meet its net zero targets and say more powers would help them to reach those goals. But opposition parties say the Government has not done enough. Before today, they had missed their emissions targets three years running. In addition, they had failed to meet a whole series of important targets, such as household recycling, biodiversity, green jobs and active travel, not forgetting their failure to deliver a ban on sending biodegradable waste to landfill in 2021. It has been fail, fail, fail. Domestic transport remains the main contributor in Scotland when it comes to greenhouse gases, but because of the pandemic and lockdowns, emissions from cars was down by around a quarter. International aviation was unsurprisingly down by 67%. Big strides have been made in power. Emissions from creating electricity have fallen by 75% since 1990. Farming emissions have dropped by nearly 15% in the past 30 years too. But there's concern that the figures will bounce back and campaigners say more must be done to tackle climate issues. The government declared a climate emergency back in 2019. It's still there and we've got to keep an eye on it. We've got to be mindful of it. So if we get out there and do this intelligently and move forward in the right way, we can actually address climate change. We can still all get back out there again. And actually, we can start to address some of the issues that people are really worried about right now. Less than a year since Scotland hosted COP26, and on the face of it, this is welcome news. But there is little celebration or satisfaction in these figures, with a lot of work still ahead for the country to reach its climate goals. Stephen Brown, STV News.